real quick, who is fairly new inside of your last 90 days in the business? Somebody can get someone newer than that. Week? No, well, last week? Two weeks? Last week, superstar there? You, you're the lucky man. Get on up here. Lucky man. All right. Give him a round of applause. What's your, what's your name? Kyle. Kyle? Good to meet you, man. Joe? So I want to show you guys how I initiate when I first get into meeting somebody. Now, understand, right? Wow parties. You first get into the business, everybody wants to do two wow parties. And then when you recruit somebody new, you help them do two. Most of what you do in your entire career is going to be booking an appointment with somebody and actually doing a presentation to them. Most of what I do every day is not, like, I, 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 do, I did a couple parties when I first got started two years ago. And when I recruit somebody new, I do some parties. But from the, the big MO, what I did yesterday for five straight hours was just sitting down with people in presentations at Starbucks that weren't in. As an example, Patty and I did 90, uh, did a little, uh, 198 parties in our first 90 days. Beast. In other people's living rooms. How many in your living room? Two. I've, I've never done another one since. And I don't plan on ever doing another one in my living room. Yeah. I could. It's not that I can't. It's not that I won't. I just don't want to. So as an example, now here's what, here's what I love about it. Joe's DMO today is meeting with people all day long. Are you with me? Yeah. We set appointments to show people secret, and we show people secret. Those are two things that we do. Joe has more wow parties going on this week than anyone in this room. Why is that? Because he has more new people joining that are doing their first two. And the majority of his signups, preferred customers and volume and recruits are happening through a party or from a party. Yes. So it's not, this is the thing I think some people mistake. They're like, oh, we're just doing the two to get them out of the way. No. They're there to launch new agents and let them duplicate through your organization because it's the place where people get to experience the entire product line. But on a daily basis, I'll give you an example. Um, how many personal recruits have you done in uh, your career? Total? Total. In, uh, or let's go away in uh, secret. In secret. Probably high 50s. High 50s. And how many of those came from your first two parties? Probably about 13. 13. So the vast majority of his signups happened afterwards. And most of them didn't happen at the party itself. Yes. I, I did th the 13 people that actually ended up getting started over the course of that first 90 days didn't actually fill out a credit card at that party. I followed up and then I had to book a sit down with them later on and then they got in later on. Same thing with us. Uh, Patty and I have personally sponsored you know, over 100 people in secret. And out of that, four came from our first two parties. So which means over 100 people we've personally enrolled since our first two parties. The vast majority of those, some of them were done online, but even online when I'm talking about long distance was a, a, an appointment. It was right. still an appointment over the phone where they saw a webinar or I did a Skype or something where we, it was still an appointment, just long distance, yeah, only, using technology. Only three people actually used a credit card at my first two parties total. So it wasn't a lot. So most of your process will be from meeting with people. So anyway, this would be an important skill to pay attention to, and I'm going to pass the mic. Here we go. Real quick, guys, I have never met Kyle before. True? It's true. All right. Like, this is going to be great since we've never met each other. I'm going to really do a real like how I would do the presentation. So, how are you, man? Good, how are you? Good to meet you, brother. Handshake, straight up and down. Good team player. All right out of the gate. This is gonna be awkward for you since I usually don't do this <laughs> with an audience. But so, anyways, good to meet you, brother. So where are you from? I'm from New York. Really? What part? Western New York, near what? Rochester. Okay. Actually, it's funny, my original mentor was from uh, like upstate New York. So that's out of there, I think kind of near. He went to, uh, is it Liberty University out there? Anywhere? I'm not sure about no? that one. Okay. Uh, RIT. Okay. Nice, man. So you, you come all the way out here for the weekend? Uh, yeah, I'm actually here for the military during training. No way. Yep. What, what branch of the service are you in? Marine Corps. Thanks for serving, man. Thanks. That's, how long have you been in? Uh, just about a year. Okay. Nice, man. One of my best friends, actually, is uh, out there in the Navy. He's, he serves in a Marine unit, but he's on the Navy. So that's killer, man. What am I doing? Bridges. Bridges, Bridges right? I already have two of them. My original mentor from New York. Right? So that's killer, man. So, you know, how, so who recruited you into the business, by the way? Who brought um, you in? My buddy Phil. Phil. Is Phil here? Yeah, he's here. Phil. Hey, Phil. You don't want to. <laughs> so, okay, so cool. So, let, now let's say it was Phil that set up this meeting. Phil's here. A lot of times we do a two on one. 
right, where someone will bring their prospect and I'm meeting with them to kind of show them what's going on. So, awesome. How long have you been in the military? Um, just about a year. About a year. You loving it? That's pretty awesome so far. Yeah? yeah? Nice, man. What do you love about it? Uh, just meeting new people, you know, getting around, exploring everything. Meeting new people? You like to meet new people? Definitely. You like, you like to travel? Yes. Nice. I, have you been anywhere cool yet in the military? Um, I mean, San Diego is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. That's awesome, bro. So are you, are you living here in San Diego, or are you uh, just you're stationed? Just for about two weeks left. Oh, yeah, wow. Maybe. That's all. And then you're heading back to New York? Yep, for about another two weeks for leave, and then I'm going to Japan. No way. Yep. What part of Japan? Iwakuni. No way. How far away from uh, Tokyo or Okinawa is that? From Okinawa, it's, I think it's a boat ride, too, so, since Okinawa is an okay. island. But uh, I don't know about Tokyo. Okay, we have some really good business partners, actually, of what I'm going to show you, actually, that's out in Okinawa right now. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. That's something Japan's exploding room. So likes to travel. By the way, I am taking notes on my prospect while I'm sitting there in front of him. So like, I, I hear loves working with people, likes to travel, headed to, you know, from New York, San Diego, Japan, boom. Let me ask you about that. What are some things maybe you don't like so much about the military? About the military? Um, probably the... Uh, Restrictions that we have. A lot of rules, huh? Definitely. <laughs> You're not a big fan of being told what to do, when to do it. Oh, dear. I don't think anyone is. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what else? Um, in terms of like what I don't like. Yeah, like what, what is just you know what, what's what are your, what's your not your favorite stuff? Working. Working. <laughs> <laughs> Having that. Are you more like you like getting up super super early and? I'm, I'm an early bird. Yeah. You're an early bird. Right on, man. That's awesome. I mean, having, I like to kind of. Slowly start the day. Yeah. Slowly a little cup of coffee, a little more mm -hmm. leisurely, right? My girlfriend's a super morning person. <laughs> Another bridge. Right? What was the follow? You guys notice my body language right now? Look at how he's leaning on the table. You guys notice what I'm doing? That was completely unconscious, by the way. I didn't even plan that. I just, <laughs> that's what I do. Now, rules to follow, work, boom, awesome. Now, let me ask you this, brother. You know, right now our company is doing a massive expansion out here in the U.S. Pretty much all over. Actually, into Japan coming up in December too, which is pretty crazy. We're looking for some people to kind of help us out. Let me ask you this: What would an extra, let's say, thousand a month? If you can make an extra thousand a month on the side of the military, what would that do for you right now? A lot. I'd pay off any of my debts pretty much right away. <laughs> okay, killer. Get out of debt. Yeah. You got like is it like more credit card or student loan or what? Oh uh, yeah, loans and credit card. That's pretty much it. Okay. Debt loan. Okay. What about as far as, uh, you know, if I gave you a grand right now, where would it go? I don't even know what I'd do. <laughs> yeah. It'd be too sudden. Yeah. Okay. It'd be, it'd be great, though. Let me ask you this, but what, what type of income are you accustomed to? Like, what's normal for you? Um, like, maybe a little over a grand per month. Okay. Yeah, man, it's funny. Our service people, man, are some of the hardest working people on the planet. I think you guys should be paid, like, some, you know, hugely. Yeah. So. Yeah. Building bridge, building up, right? So let me ask you this. Let's say you had, you know, how much money would you need? Now, obviously, you, you have probably a contract. You have to be in the military for how many years? Four. Four. Four years, okay. So you've got four years total, minimum. Mm -hmm. you got to do. Let's say four years from now, right, you have an income coming in outside of the military. How much would you need coming in to be able to make the decision of if you wanted to work or not work anymore? I don't know. Notice the <laughs> smile on his face that instantly gets there, right? right? I mean, you know, realistically, like, you know, if you had a certain amount of money hitting the, your bank account every single month that came in no matter what, like, wh how much would you need to just have the option of whether you want to continue you know, working 50, 40 hours a week plus or just kind of do what you wanted to do? To quit, like if I was working to quit? Sure. Um, I mean, five grand a month, ten five grand. grand. Okay. Let's go with the low end, or five grand. Five, sure. Let's say you had five grand a month hitting your account every single month, whether you worked or not, you were being no, if you did. <laughs> yeah. right? How, what would you do differently with your time? I'd probably spend a lot more uh, bettering myself, you know? Really? Yeah. Like what? Uh, school, definitely. You want you know, education? Mm-hmm. What, what, anything in particular you want to go study? Uh, psychology. Really? Yeah. You like working with people and figuring out how people work and that stuff? Absolutely. Nice. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm taking I mean, everything here. I'm like, likes to work with people, likes figuring out how people work. 
You guys notice I'm kind of tailoring all of this to what we do, right? Now let's go a little crazy, right? Like I'm talking, let's say, now here's the thing. The average person right now for your notes can only see themselves making about twice what they're currently making. Right? If you start talking way too big of numbers, I'm like for me, when I first got into network marketing, I met these guys that were making like 40 grand a month, and it seemed like a fake number to me because I was making $14,000 a year. So, you know what I mean? It, like making $14,000 a month was like, why not a, you know, a gazoobles? How many, you know I mean? It's like, how about a trillion? If we're gonna throw out fake numbers, why not, you know what I mean? I didn't have any concept of how much money that was, right? So five grand, I mean, if he's throwing out five grand is what he would need to not work, his, I can tell his echelon of what he's accustomed to is a little bit higher than the average probably military guy, read that? So I'm not gonna go straight to like 20 grand a month because I'll lose him. He's not gonna be able to see that. It'll sound like a fake number. Let's say 10 grand, All right? Now, if I'm talking to somebody who's used to making 10 grand a month, 20 grand would be an obvious place to be able to go. So let's say 10 grand though, brother. $10,000 hits your account every single month. If you spend $9,999.99 every month, it just hits your account again. At this point, you really have the option of, you know, money's completely out of the way. What would, what would your life be like? How would it be different? It'd be peaceful, you know, nice, do whatever I want, basically. You know? Probably like no stress. No stress, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> no stress. What else? I don't know. Yeah? If you could Thanks. drive whatever you wanted to drive, what would that drive. be? Can I fly? You fly? Instead? Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's, that's what I want to be a pilot. Oh, be a pilot? Yeah. Get your pilot's license? Oh. Would you go anywhere, like in particular, if you wanted to like just travel just for you and go Scotland. fly somewhere? Scotland. Absolutely. Are you Scottish? Yes. No way. I'm a quarter Scottish. Good it's man. Good. Right? Absolutely. Yes. You got me it. sold right there. Right? <laughs> right? Honestly. Insta friends. Right? That's it. So, awesome. Yeah, that's one of the, I want to go like trace my roots and lineage. I, my family name was Duncan, so I was like... Super Scottish. So, pilot's license, go to Scotland. Oh man, this is, we're like Insta buddies now. <laughs> go to Scotland. Perfect, man. Well, hey man, listen, you know, all this looks fantastic. You know, I don't know if what we're doing is for you or not, but it sounds like we definitely gotta find something, bro, because mm -hmm. Scotland sounds pretty awesome and being a pilot and getting to do all that stuff. You guys catch that? Yeah. Hey, I don't know if what we're doing is for you or not, but it sounds like we definitely gotta find something, bro, because you know, that, that sound, all that stuff looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So here's basically, here, here's our company, here's what we've been doing. We, our company's name is Secret. We actually got started back in 2005. I don't know if you've been to the mall before and you've seen the Israelis at kiosks, you know, they're exalting people, that's, that's been <laughs> us, right? It's funny because we sold a billion dollars worth of our product around the world in 40 countries, just demonstrating the results that people get in the kiosk. It's kind of crazy because most people don't go to the mall for a kiosk, for anything. You want to go to the Apple store, like Macy's. Yeah. And we still sold a billion dollars with people who had no intention of buying anything from us. So we showed them results. Actually, here's some of the results right here. Check this out. This is 15 minutes with some of the products that you can see right here in these pictures. People freak out. This is our recover mask. And I'll show it to them. I'll have the five wows in five minutes. And I'll show you all of our products are designed to produce an instant result. Rather than just explain it, let me show you. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. Let me see your right hand. Check this out. This isn't weird. Much I can see somebody already got to you in the apple before <laughs> I did. Hold on. I say, I say, hey, are you right-handed or left-handed? What kind of question is that? Let me see your right hand. Boom. Buff his nail out. Check that out. I thought, wow. Hey, check this out right here. This is like a bar trick, bro. This is a thing called the M4. Do you know anything about the Dead Sea? Not really. Right? Notice I'm not just saying, the Dead Sea. Da, da, da. I'm like, dude, you know anything about the Dead Sea? No? Oh, check this out. So it's mud from the Dead Sea. If you Google it, you see people floating in the water and like putting mud on each other. It's a good deal. But the mud here, boom, put this on here. Check this out. You take it off with a magnet. Right? Oh, wow. I'm going to go through all those. So how many of you guys have seen when somebody kind of starts off the presentation kind of awkward or kind of like, okay, what is this thing? What is this guy showing me? After you show him those five wow products, he's sitting there like, okay, there's something real happening here. Like, what the hell is this thing? This is different. Even if he's been approached with anything else in the past, this is so different than anything he's ever seen because I just took mud off him with a magnet. I just heated up 
the thermal mask that heated up on his arm. I buffed out his nail in 30 seconds, and he's like, that's real. No, you can't tell me that's not real. <laughs> I mean, I've gone out there, and I've shown, I've peeling gel. I've taken his dead skin off in front of his face, and he's sitting like, okay, dude, this is different. What, what is this thing? Like, check this out, bro. You know, our company has these products that are just insane. That's why we've sold a billion dollars worth, and you've never seen this on TV, you've never heard us on the radio. The only place people have got these products in the past is from people that have demonstrated the products to them. Now what's crazy is we're making a full transition into referral marketing. Right? We're getting rid of our global distributors, we're getting rid of our local distributors, we're getting rid of the retail locations, we're going direct to consumer. What's amazing is we're able to discount all our prices. We don't have to pay all the middlemen to be able to get the products in your hands. We're cutting the product by half the price. And what's amazing is we're paying people like me and you just to spread the word about it. Now, have you ever actually recommended like a good movie to somebody or a good restaurant? Yes. What, what's your favorite movie? Uh, Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. Yeah. Right? You probably told some people about it. Yes, definitely. Right? What kind of question? Do you have, do you have a favorite movie? Yeah. Right. What's the movie that you like? Boom. Right. Have you told some people about that movie before? Yeah. It's a leading question. Of course he has. You ever, you ever recommended a good restaurant to somebody? Yep. Did they ever send you a paycheck for it? No. <laughs> Right? Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> you, you never got, never got like free popcorn in the movie theater? No? That's crazy, bro. Stuff that we do for free, they give us paychecks for. It's the craziest thing. Check this thing out. We go out there and give better products for less money, and then they just pay us to t share the word that we all do anyways. Right? Now, here's what's crazy. This industry is growing so fast. People like Warren, you know Warren Buffett? Uh, I've heard his name. Warren Buffett, the you know, second richest guy in the world. He goes back and forth. He's the number one investor in the world. He, you know, he's actually a part of this industry. Richard Branson, you know, the guy that started like Virgin Record, Virgin Mobile, Virgin Airlines. He's in this industry. Wow. It's crazy, man. Right? 90 million people around the world are already in, are doing this. We're actually bringing on over 400,000 people a week globally as an industry. It's grown 91% in the last decade, yet less than 3% of the entire world's involved. And this is what's really, really cool. And here's what's really cool, the advantages to you. Do you know anybody that's ever started their own business before? Um. Yeah, buddy of mine. Buddy yours? What kind of business did you start? Um, he uh, started doing lawn business. His own lawn business? Yeah. Nice, man. Do you know how much it cost him to start that business? No. No? Probably, you ever notice that it takes money to? To start, make yeah. Make money, right? Yeah. You've heard that it's before. It's funny, man. I started a detailing company a while back. It cost me 11 grand to start it. What's crazy is I think today, touch your shoulder. I think today, a lot of people would probably like to own their own business, right? Kind of be their own boss, set their own hours, right? They pay when they want. I think the big thing that holds a lot of people back is the money. Mm -hmm. or, or the idea. Like, I've sat up late at night thinking, man, I've got to come up with a million dollar idea. <laughs> I stay up all night and didn't think of anything. <laughs> it's funny, man. So, he <laughs> what's crazy is here, this is a business you own. For 49 bucks, supposed to get a hold of some products that you can demonstrate. You have all the tax advantages of your buddy that owns a lawn care business. Have you ever heard that saying, rich get richer, poor get poor? poor right? mm -hmm. You ever forgot why that is? A lot of it's like taxes. Rich people end up paying sometimes less in taxes than the average middle income person because the tax write-offs. Like for you, if you own a business, your cell phone is a tax write-off. That's just not your cell phone, that's your business line. Your mm -hmm. gas in your car, that's not just gas for your car, that's gas for your business vehicle. And so a lot of tax advantages are available to business owners that I didn't even know about, right? which is pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. So you own that, those startup costs, the tax benefits, plus unlimited upside. We can build this business right now from the US, Canada, Mexico, Puerto Rico, South Korea, Australia. In December of this year, we're gonna be launching Japan. And also second quarter of next year, we're looking at Germany. Pretty crazy, right? Boom. Now here's how it works right here, personal commissions. Now I'm not the biggest salesperson, but do you know people that like to sell? Yes. Yeah. What kind of question is that? Leading question. You don't know do that. Like to say, oh, but this, this right here is great for them. So right here, they can go out there and just retail a product, and they make anywhere from a, 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 up to 150 percent just sharing a product with somebody. 20, 25 percent of preferred customers. These are people that want discounts. I'm a huge proponent of like, if it's free, it's me. I like discounts on anything. <laughs> I go to Costco sometimes on the weekends just for the free samples and just get stuff. <laughs> and what's cool is you get paid. For everybody that has now skin care, the reason why skin care dominates, brother, is because everybody uses it. You know people that have skin? Yes, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Probably a little bit. <laughs> now think about it. What's weird is we're, all of us are already doing it. When you run out of soap, what do you do? Buy more soap. <laughs> it never occurs to you. Like, I'm not going to buy any more of that. I'm going to stink for now.
<laughs> right? So these are all leading questions, closed-ended questions. There's stuff that he's like, me too, me too, me too, me too. Go to all this stuff. Team commissions. Let me ask you, who do you know that's super motivated? Who do you know that's like driven, like always wants to pick up the extra shift, always wants to work overtime? Who do you know that's like that? Um, probably my, my uh, next door neighbor. Your next door neighbor? neighbor? What's his name? Um, Heinze. Heinze? Yep. It's a military last name, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Right? That's Heinze. His first name. So let's say we show to somebody that is motivated, like Heinze, right? Mm -hmm. He gets to show this. What's really cool is, is it safe to say that Heinze knows people that you don't know? Yeah, absolutely. From home, at least. From home, probably. So let's say Heinze knows somebody that, you know, has ever had acne or eczema, I'm sure. We all know people that are like that. Mm -hmm. hey, who do you know that, you know anybody that's ever had eczema before? Not eczema, no. No? Well, acne. Absolutely. Yeah? Who do you know that's had that? My best friends at home. Your best friends? Okay. Yeah. Like who? Like who? Uh, Evan, is Evan. his name. Evan, a few more probably best friends. So what's crazy, guys, I'm getting names. Heinz is this hardworking guy, and I have it in his head that, oh man, I know Heinz, he's a hard worker. I got friends that could use these products. He's automatically thinking of it. Boom, boom, boom. I go through the rest of this presentation, right? And let's say we share it with them, and all of a sudden now you have a business happening in New York. Do you know anybody that speaks Spanish? You don't know anybody that speaks Spanish at all? No. All right. Well, now you're in Southern California. You're going to figure that out pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right? Boom. Now, let's say, here's what's crazy. Right? You share it with somebody else. Imagine Heinz goes there and finds a customer. Heinz, he's got a friend back home that has acne, too. He goes out there and becomes a customer to save money on our products, but you get paid up to 15% off of what that person spends every month. If you had money coming into your bank account that had nothing to do with you off of a customer you've never met, would that be cool or would that bother you at all? It's free money. That'd <laughs> be pretty awesome. Right? <laughs> That's what I said. That's how this works. Right? Our check match. Here you get paid to help the people out. So I wasn't the best at this, but I knew people like, man, I thought this person would be better than me. And if you show it to them, you get a 20% match on everything you help them do. Notice the way I explain that. Boom, becoming a customer. I'm not going to go through this whole thing here. Now I get to drive your dream. Now, what's cool about this is every time you rank advanced in our company, we have a program that's 90 days to drive your dream. And what's cool about that is we give you a check. There's a lot of companies today in our industry that will make you get a particular type of car. And if you choose not to get a car, they're going to penalize you for it. Here, ours is drive your dream. We want to put you in the driver's seat and just give you the cash for whatever you want. So when you hit this rank of Royale, it's 500 bucks, whatever you want. Now, if you could, you know, and this could be a a motorcycle, it could be a motor home, it could be a moped, I mean, whatever, whatever you're into. Like, if you could drive anything, what, what would you like? Lotus, at least. A Lotus? <laughs> nice. You thought about this. What color? Green. Lime green. Lime green. Yep. Nice. <laughs> what color is that? Red. Red. A lime green Lotus. Right? That's not somebody who doesn't want to be noticed. Right. Right? <laughs> That's somebody who wants to be noticed, right? So here we go. Damn. <laughs> right? Right? Yeah. So, all right, boom. Now, do you know how much it would cost to have a lime green lotus? I have no idea. Anyone? You might probably want to probably be somewhere around this platinum or ruby rank right here. So, here, what's cool is this gives you now. Here's what's really cool. I got a I got a BMW a while back when I hit this this rank here of silver, and it's funny because now I'm I'm up here this this rank here, but my car's paid off. I paid it off, and my insurance is less than this. So they just I just bank the difference. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So you're getting paid to have a car. Yeah, I just get paid. To, <laughs> I drive whatever I want. It's pretty crazy. I go through all this stuff, asking questions, asking questions, asking questions. Notice how I'm not talking at him. He's engaged in the presentation the entire time. Notice how he's answering questions, forcing to be involved in the presentation. Now, I want you to pretend for a second like you're not interested, right? How would somebody be body language wise who's not interested? Probably just kind of sit slow. Probably kind of like lay back. Yeah. Probably more. Somebody who's not interested, right, is more kind of leaning away. This is the universal sign for not interested arms crossed, right? Somebody who's armed, this is like I'm closed right here, right? Now, if I notice him like that, he's, you know, he's kind of leaning back like this. And let's say maybe we're talking about the Dead Sea, the formulation, da da da. And this is right here. And dude, check this out. Right now, we have this right here. Now notice how when I tap him, I'll actually kind of check this out right here, and I'll lean in and engage him back into the presentation again. That's a touch. If he's leaning back, boom. I'm going to come lean in here, and he's back in. So he's kind of leaning back. I'm like, hey, dude, 
shit. And I'll, I'll get to one section of the presentation, finish it. I'm like, actually, dude, this is right here. You gotta watch this part. I'll come lean in again. And the manufacturing right here, we're getting rid of all the manufacturing, blah, 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 blah right? Mm -hmm. It's the same thing in the business briefing. If I bring a guest out to the business overview, I can, uh, now here's the thing. I'm sitting, giving energy to the speaker, leaning forward. I'm not involved. Yep, I'm agreeing. I'm sitting there. I'm taking notes. I'm focused. I'm doing all this. If I don't have my peripheral vision, I can see my guest that I brought is kind of leaning back. I'll wait until he clicks the next slide and I'll go, oh, dude. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> As soon as the, the next slide comes, I tap him, I got you. <laughs> Re-engaged. Back into the presentation again. This is, this is little one percenters that will make a massive, massive difference over the long run. Yes? Yes. Now let's go, back, let's go to helping them get started. Now after all this here, training and support, we talk at the end of here, support, you have all the support, da 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 great, 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 boom. You know, online trainings, conference calls, so you can business for yourself. If you know people that are, let's say, like in Waterloo, Iowa, somewhere crazy, right? And we don't have like this going on. What's cool is we have trainings online. We have conference calls every Sunday night at 7 o'clock. So people, no matter where they're at in the world, can always be supported by the best of the best in our company. Isn't that cool? It's awesome. Right? We have local and international events. So you're in business for yourself. You never buy yourself. Now, let me ask you this, brother. From everything that we've gone through so far, What's jumping out at you the most? Is it more the products or the business? I like the products. Products? Definitely. That's what I said, bro. These products are ridiculous. Right? Whatever he says, I disagree with him. Yeah. It's not like the products. If you are like, yeah, the products are cool, but what about the business, bro? The money. No. <laughs> I'm mirroring and matching. He likes the products. Do I like the products? Yes. I love the products. Do I like the business? Yes. I like it all. Whatever he says, I'm in. <laughs> Right, I like the products. That's exactly what I said. But what about the products was jumping out at you, getting you excited? They work. They work, right? Yeah. What kind of question is that? What about the products was getting you excited? A leading question. I guess what was, he wasn't even thinking. He was excited. But I, well, I guess, I guess what was exciting was the fact that they work. All right? Yeah, it's funny, dude. I know, like, a lot of skincare products, it's not like you use them and you see an instant result. It's like, use this for 30 days or whatever. You're going to like it. Like, when you see it right away, it's like crazy, man. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> so let me ask you, bro, do you see yourself getting involved more as a preferred customer to save money on, on products that you buy? Or do you see yourself getting involved more as an agent to not just get the savings, but also make money too? You make money. Probably make money, right? Killer, man. That's what I said. Let me ask you this. How much money would you need to make just to make this worth your time? Even if I matched what I make currently, it'd be pretty awesome. It's like a thousand a month? Yep. That extra thousand, like, what, what were we talking about? Kind of that would be the... Uh, you know, being able to get out of debt, start mm -hmm. saving for that travel, all that kind of stuff. Right? Definitely. Killer. Okay. A thousand. How many hours a week would you be able to put into something like this? Just on the side of the military, on the side of everything else going on? Per week? Yeah. Probably anywhere between 10 and 15. 10 to 15? Yeah. It's conservative. All right. How many months would you be willing to give yourself to start seeing that thousand a month coming in every single month? Four or five months. Four or five months? Okay. Let me ask you this, man. If I could show you how to start making that thousand a month, putting in about 10, 15 hours a week inside of the next four or five months, is there anything else you'd have to know before you get started? No. <laughs> Welcome aboard, brother. <laughs> All right. <laughs> right? Fantastic. Now, let me give you those four questions. That's a four question close that I learned from a billionaire. First question is, how much would you need to make a month just to make this worth your time? How much would you need to make a month just to make this worth your time? Number two, how many hours a week would you be able to put into something like this on the side of everything else in your life? Military, church, family, everything else. 10 to 15. No, no, I'm not giving him any answers. He's giving me all the answers. 1,000, 10 to 15. How many months would you be willing to give yourself to start seeing that 1,000 a month coming in every month? Now, I'm psychologically, I want them to know this isn't a first day deal. This isn't overnight. How many months would you be willing to start build this up? He says four or five. Now, all I do is put them all together. If I could show you how to make that 1,000 a month that you're talking about, putting in 10, 15 hours every week, inside the next four or five months, is there anything else you'd have to know before you get started? When can I start? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He says no. Now, by him saying no, he's really saying what? Yes. yes. yes.
It's easier to get someone to say no than it is to get them to say yes. So I say, is there anything else you'd have to know before you get started? Nope. Welcome aboard. And I shake hands and I give them the old back of the hand tap. We're sincere, right? Awesome. All right now, there's, there's a couple of different ways to get started. Remember that Drive Your Dream program? Now, I think our goal would be good is to put you in that lime green lotus. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a no brainer, right? Yeah. So there's, there's two ways to go out there and drive your dream. We have this premium package here, and we have a special agent package here. And basically, here's how this works. For $550 on this one, you get about $1,300 worth of products, and you get our entire foundational line. This is our, our classic line that's used for people with oily, dry skin, normal skin issues, things like that. Then we have our special agent set. And this is for people that are you know, dead serious that want to invest the most inside of what we're doing here. Now, this is $1,450, but what's cool is it gives you almost $4,000 worth of products. This comes with not only our foundational line, but it actually comes with our anti-aging line. Here's what's really cool. Do you know people that are over 30? Yes. Do you know people that are over 30? Uh, I do. <laughs> you don't say. It also comes with our anti-aging line. So people that you know that are over 30, that, are you know, that want to go out there and lock in that beauty, stay as good looking as they can for as long as they can, these are our best sellers with the highest profit margin. So if you want to make as much as you can, as fast as you can, this is what it, because here's what I found out, bro. It's hard to rub a brochure on somebody's face and get them fired up. <laughs> Imagine if in this presentation, like you just saw me take the thing off with a magnet. Imagine if I was hypothetically like, hey, I want you to imagine your nail shining. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> That probably wouldn't be as good of a presentation, right? <laughs> That's why we get a hold of products, so that you don't have to try to like, use your words. You can just let the products do the work. So here's what's cool. And not only does it come with all the benefits of the entire product line, so if you demo anti-aging products, you're going to sell a lot more anti-aging, I'm sure you right. agree, right? So what's amazing is it also comes with benefits. Remember this check match program we talked about? Yes. Here you start out as a bronze. Let me ask, would you rather get 20% in a check match or 0%? 20 what kind of question is that? Right? It's both alternative and leading. Would you rather make 20% or 0%? Um, 20 sounds better. Would you rather make 15% on your team commissions or 10%? Or 15. Probably 15, right? Would you rather make 25% on every preferred customer you share this with or 20%? 25%. Then this is the special, this is the package for you, by the way. This is one I hear what most people get. Now, let me ask you this. Do you want your checks mailed to your house or mine? You can take them. <laughs> I'll take them. I'm happy, bro. I'll put my address down. No, I won't. <laughs> In fact, let me, do, you, do you have uh, your ID on you, your, your driver's license? Yes. You do? Bust that thing out. Let me show you probably most of the information I need for the application is all on there. Write that down. You guys notice what I just did there? Yeah. Perfect. Go ahead and just throw it up here. Right. Perfect. Awesome. So I had him pull out his driver's license. Right? Now, it's easy to get some, most of the information I need is probably all on your driver's license address-wise. Is, is this your current address right now? Yes. Oh, perfect. Boom, boom, boom. Got it right there. Birthday, I'm sure it hasn't changed. No. Bing, bing, boom. Awesome. <laughs> easy peasy. What's your email? Um, perfect. Boom, boom, yep. boom. Phone number? Great. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, what's your social so we can pay you? Notice how I say that. I'm not like, what's your social security number, Kyle? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, real, I'm looking down. What's your soch? Real low key, laid back, easy peasy. So, so we can pay you. If he's like hesitant, almost, so we, right. obviously we can pay you. Bing, bing, boom. All right, boom, got it. And then do you want to set it up with a Visa or a MasterCard? Um, <laughs> uh, Visa. Visa. Yeah. Now, hope, wait for it. That was the best thing ever because that was real, <laughs> right? So I go through all this stuff here. It's, you know, what you want, your house or mine, great. And in fact, you know what? You have a driver's license? Most of the information I probably need to write down is probably all on there anyways. And I want him to pull his wallet out. Yep. How many of you guys ever got to a, did the whole presentation? It's awesome. They're like, oh, I don't have my wallet on me. I don't have my credit. Yeah, right. Who the hell doesn't have a wallet on them ever? <laughs> Everybody has a wallet on them, right? But I pull out your, driver, your, your driver's license. Boom, perfect. Now, I already saw his credit card in his wallet when he pulled his driver's license out. I already saw it. 
<laughs> right? So it's in there. He can't use the, I don't have my wallet anymore. My driver's license, easy. Even if the driver's license has none of the information I need on it, I don't care. I want him to just pull a card out out of his wallet. I want to get in the habit of pulling something out of his wallet and handing it to me. <laughs> right? Right? This is it. Perfect. Now I get down here, and I get down to, okay, do you want to get all set up with a Visa or a MasterCard? Visa. He says, <clears throat> now he was hesitant at first, but what I do, I just look down, and I stared at the paper. <laughs> and then we play the waiting game. And you guys started to notice, he was a little hesitant, and here's what I did. I kept my eyes on the paper, but I did the head turn a little. <laughs> wait a few seconds, right? Wait a few seconds. If you say I'm hesitant, I just do a little. I, I never break eye contact. I'm always on the paper. Just whoever talks first loses. Because so many amateurs are like, I'm going to use your Visa or MasterCard. B because if you do, then, you know, obviously we're going to make money, you know. Oh. And it's just Whoever talks first loses. Who said it with a Visa or MasterCard? Visa. Cool. You have a 16-digit number on the front there? Should. You bust that out. What card doesn't have a 16-digit number on the front? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Do you have a 16-digit number on the front? All right, bust that thing out. Go ahead. <laughs> this is what it is. Perfect. Got it. Four, bing, 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 boom. <laughs> Killer. Bang on. Boom. I got to step down. So here's the most important thing. Right Now I have a filled application. Now I always fill out an application on the spot. Always fill out a paper application. Some people are like, oh, then I'm in. I'm just going to go sign up online later on. <laughs> no. No, they're not. Right? Fill out an application on the spot. I get that taken care of. Now here's the thing, right? He just put his credit card down. In his head, he's kind of thinking, the hell just happened? I just, <laughs> what's going on? It's like, here's the most important thing, brother. More than just signing you up is I want to go out there and help you get this money and go out there and turn this into a profit. Mm -hmm. The cool thing about this, bro, is we don't make, signing you up is the easy part. That's nothing. Getting you paid and helping you get in profit mode is the most important thing. We want to do what's called our blueprint and get you paid and promoted right here inside of your first week, get you into profit mode as fast as possible. Right? What I want to do is set up a time where we can carve out 30 minutes to be together and make sure that we get you paid and promoted right away. Right? When's the best time to go out there and actually get you taken care of to make sure we get you paid inside of the next 24 to 48 hours max? Tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon. What time? Uh, I got, a, I got a, like a, a 1 and like a 3 o'clock available. What's better? Do 3. 3. 3 sounds great. Bing, bing, boom. I'm scheduling his time to feel supported now that he's given me his payment information. Right? On the spot. So he knows I'm not just going to sign up and leave him high and dry. <laughs> I got your credit card, peace. You know what I mean? <laughs> I want to schedule. Hey, man, I'm going to, just so you know, I'm, my goal is not to just go out there and have you get in. And the only way that I really make money is by helping you make money. Right? You saw that check match program. Right. If you were check matching me at 20%, how much would you want to help me make? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I want to go out there and get this thing rocking with you, man. For sure. This is where you feel supported. Very, very, very good. <laughs>